Hey everybody, welcome back to more Dragon Quest. Still saving up to afford that shield, so let's uh, get out there and fight some fucking monsters, man. What do we got here? Gold Orc. Well, that's good. Because, you know, he's gold, and we're looking for gold. And... You think, oh, it just means he has yellow fur, but I believe you do get a lot of money for beating those things. See, 255 gold is a lot for one monster. Oh. So what am I up to, by the way? I'm up to 17.9. I'm looking for 21.5. Alright, so two hunters and a gold orc. Actually, you know what? You guys... Oh, man. Alright. What's going on here? Alright. Oh, man. You know what it is? I was just playing Dragon Quest IV on my 3DS, and I'm used to pressing right <laughs> instead of down, so that's what it was, a little muscle memory there, that's all. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, right. Oh, and it doesn't do the memory thing. I gotta get used to that, yeah. So I, like, seriously, I just spent the last few days because I've been playing Dragon Quest IV again on my 3DS, and... That muscle memory is a fucking bitch, man. Critical! Okay. Gotta heal again. Well, not so bad. It's really her. Man, oh man. What do we got here? We got four hunters. Okay, you're definitely gonna use Infernos in this case. Might not hit all of them, but as long as it hits more than one, it's worth it. Oh, look at that. I said hit all of them, that's great. Made a liar out of me! That's okay. Alright. Just in case I can take them all out. That's one out. Oh. Alright, one. But this'll kill the guy for sure, so. I was like, miss, but I didn't, so it's good. Back to the grind. <laughs> Got a gold orc and a hibba bango. Bango. Win a bango. Want a bango. Want a bango. Yeah. I don't know when I turn into Glenn Quagmire, but we'll just roll with it. Giggity. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What are we at now? 19 one. We're getting close. 21,500 is the magic number, and then we're gonna head to a different town, because the other you know, the plot stuff to do here we can't do yet. We can just buy a shield, pretty much. Okay, uh, four Gragoopies and a gold orc. We'll leave you to do Infernos on the Gragoopies. They like to they like to summon more though, but you see, if you kill them all at once, you can't really. You kind of want them to summon more, but you don't want to get overwhelmed, especially when you're also dealing with a gold orc, so... There's that, too. Let's see. Alright, wow, that, that could have been better. You're gonna heal yourself. Dirty bitch! Heal yourself, bitch! Shit! All right. We were at 19.4. So a little more than a thousand left. Two Hibabangos and a gold orc. I wonder if somebody level up before I reach the amount of money that I want. Yeah, I gotta prioritize them actually now. Is that doing that debuff shit? Alright, we did good. Need to heal the hero there, and I'm at 19.9, which means about 600 left. Oh, heal more. Healing's not enough, you need to heal more. 
the names they came up with. Here's a warlock. Once again, how does he meet those guys by themselves? They're not really a threat on their own. Very strange. A couple of gold orcs will do, you yeah. know. <laughs> oh, look, two Hivivangos and a gold orc. I'm going to prioritize those guys because they do that debuff shit. Hopefully, take them out one shot here. Depends on how good Drew hits. Not eh, good enough. Ugh, see, that's what I was trying to avoid. I'll make sure he doesn't do it again. Oh, no, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well. Live and learn. It is if you do live. Oh, look, see, Drew reached level 18. Hit points up by 3, magic points up by 3, strength up by 1, guard up by 1, agility up by 3, and he learned Firebane, which I think hits every single enemy. And I don't have enough yet. Yet, and one more battle will do it. I'm very close. No, no, no not return, you cunt. Well, now that's the second time I've done that in as many videos. Well, let me stay at the inn here, and I'll. By the time I get back there, I'll certainly have enough fucking money. Oh, that's just fucking muscle memory is fucking me up, man. Making good pro oh right, left one. Alright. We're making good progress in this game. It's just oh, when I make stupid mistakes like that that don't really hurt your progress, it just makes it take longer. Cause now I gotta sail back there and well by the time I get back there I'll certainly have enough money. But god damn is not that's irritating. That is fucking that is bullshit. That is the shittiest of bulls and the bulliest of shits. trying to remember how oh yeah yeah okay i gotta go god damn it and you know what i wanted to save there but they don't have like they have a church but see dragon quest 2 handles a little bit differently than the later games in the series the later games in the series you might remember have a church and you can do everything there you can save you can uh you know heal poison you can heal curses you can find out how much left you out to level you know but Dragon Quest 2 did it where, you know, churches have two guys, one guy that you talk to to save, and another guy that you talk to to do all the other shit, which is kind of irritating. And the problem with that is that that town there only has one of those guys, and it's the guy that heals you and all that shit. Well, he doesn't heal you, but he does everything else. Like he'll poison, he'll curse, and all that, but he doesn't fucking, uh... You know, he, he's a fucking asshole. He doesn't do saving, so you can't save it there, so you can't return there. The game's like, we know this town is a bitch to get to, so, and we're gonna make sure that every time you need to go there, you are going to go through said bitch. The bitch is on. The bitch is back, as Elton John would say. I was justified when I was five. Raising Cain, I spit in your eye. I think, you know, that song doesn't even make sense, but... The gist of it is pretty simple. Elton John is a bitch, and he's back. And I assume that's a good thing? That's a very strange song, because Elton John makes it seem kind of outrageous that he likes steak on a Saturday night. Like, because that line is, it's a eat meat on Friday, that's all right. Now, see, that's like going against the whole Catholic convention of not eating meat on Fridays, which is stupid, but whatever. And then he says, I even like steak on a Saturday night. And I'm thinking, well, there, you know, okay, I don't know what culture has a taboo against steak on a Saturday night. I've never heard that one before. Um, you know, could be like, uh... Yeah, I don't even know, man. I, I like. You know what? He has Firebane now. It's a good opportunity to use it. Cause it hits everybody. Yeah, it hits everybody. Cause uh, you know, I know that in fucking like in in the Hindus, they don't eat steak, but they don't eat steak any day of the week. There's no particular reason that a Saturday night would uh, be a problem. And I Saturday's the Jewish holy day, but at night. When the sun goes down, that the day's over, and they could they could do whatever they want. Well, not whatever they want, but they could do a lot of things. It's like this weird spot up here where you meet all these like weaker enemies. Very strange. It's like the enemies that you met around um, Hamlin. Well, let's see. 
Another good video filled with me taking this unnecessary trip, but you got to hear my thoughts on a weird old song, so... The bitch is indeed back. Oh, wow. If, oh, wait, wait, I said, too. If I met one of these guys again, I would save scum, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna... See what happens. Oh, no, see, he... Nah, 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 kid. Nah, I don't believe that. Technically cheating, but fuck you, you know? Yeah, you cast Fireball, you dick face. Oh, I only hit him once. I say, now what you do, this is what safe scumming is. You save it again. I don't do this a lot. As a matter of fact, you've never seen me do this in a uh, playthrough. Ah, see? See? But it's worth it to bag him a table. Fuck that asshole. Look at him. He's a dick. With his fucking face and his bubbles. What a fucking cock face. We're gonna kill his ass, even if it takes me till the end of the video. I know there are keyboard shortcuts, but for some reason when I use them on Visual Boy Advance, it doesn't work. Like, it says it's saved, but it doesn't. So that's why, to be safe, I always save and load from a file. There we go. Somebody critical this asshole already. That would oh, I got him! Now look at this. Ten... 1,150 experience points. So, Lodo reached level 20. Hit points up by 13, Strength up by 6, Guard up by 2, Agility up by 4, Drew reached level 19. Hit points up by 7, Magic points up by 3, Strength up by 1, Guard up by 3, Agility up by 6, Lin reached level 15. Hit points up by 7, Magic points up by 6, Strength up by 1, Guard up by 1, Agility up by 3, and she learned the spell Heal All, and... I got a Magic Helmet? Oh, wow, that was lucky. Uh, take a look at that, actually. Now, it's not better than what he has, but he has the Lodo helmet, so you know what? Let me try transferring it over. Oh, it's Lodo that has it. Maybe Drew can wear it. I know the princess ain't gonna be able to wear it. He doesn't even have a helmet on, so there you go. Wow, that came out good. So now I'm not upset about having taken that unnecessary trip. Because I bagged him a table, everybody leveled up, and I got a magic helmet for Drew, so that was fucking awesome, actually. So I'm glad I cast the return spell like a fucking Ralph Tard. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is buy that shield. Which is also for Drew, I think. Heal shield for Drew. And Lodo can use it too, but... Not much of a point to that. He has the Lodo shield right now. Now, let's see. I, I want to sell a couple of things. I got the cloth armor here. And... The leather shield, obviously. Alright, so... Now, the next town we want to go to is actually not that far away, but we do got to get back to the ship. Um, casting return would actually kind of put me out of my way. So, I'm just going to walk it back to the ship. So here's three Hibabangos. Hibabango, bango, critical! I had to breathe there. Okay. Let's see, what do we got now? Gold Orc, a Greg Goopy, and two Hunters. Actually, no, you're gonna cast uh, Firebane, and you're gonna cast Infernos on the Hunters. Oh, yeah! Gold Orc was immune, but look at the damage I'm getting from these other guys. Fuck you. Oh, you used heal, isn't that... that that's, that's adorable, isn't it? Oh, fuck him up! See? Told you. Got here. Three Hibabangos. These guys are really no threat. I just realized Lodo could use a little of the, the heal ski. Let's do that right after this. Especially since these guys are casting defense. I might actually want to do it right now. You do it. Okay. I'll get back to the ship and then I'll end the video.
All right, two puppet mans, two and two hunters. Let's once again do Firebane. Uh, it won't be. It'll be a while before enemies will be immune to Firebane. Now this. <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> I think the puppet men just have a thing about fire. Infernos is technically not a fire spell, even though it sounds like a fire spell. It's a wind spell. Necessarily elaborate. Oh, the ship's right there. What am I? A dip? Yes, I am. I am indeed a dip. You said it was a chip. So where's the dip? Or am I looking at him? Oh, snap! Remove the chain. Cause that is awful. I'm gonna get a comment like, oh my god, you said just like meatwad. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I was doing. That's that's exactly what I was going for. All right, I'm actually going to end the video right here. Oh, Lodo promoted again to level 21. Hit points up by 6, strength up by 6, guard up by 1, agility up by 3, by 3. And we're going to stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with the next one.